Hello everyone! In this video, we will demonstrate field embedding in REDCap. Field embedding is one of REDCap's newest design features, and it allows users to arrange field elements on a survey page or data entry form. So while fields normally appear vertically on a form, with each one appearing below the other, with field embedding, you can reposition fields so that they appear side by side or in a grid format. This feature allows users to have more control over the design of their instruments and to arrange fields in a way that might be more intuitive to the participant or perhaps will save space on a form. You can embed fields in the field label, in the field note, or in a multiple choice label of another field if it is using the radio buttons. You can also embed fields in the section header in the same instrument. Let's demonstrate. So as an example, let's say we've created this simple form and we're capturing name, date of birth, favorite ice cream flavor, and temperature on different days. And of course, the fields are in the typical vertical arrangement with each field appearing below the other. We can use field embedding to change the look of this form. So let's say our first aim is to reposition the first name and last name fields so that they appear side by side on the form. To do this, we can embed both of these fields into a field label. So let's navigate to the online designer. So of course, the first step is to create your field. The field or fields that you want to embed should already exist somewhere on your form. In our case, of course, the first name and last name fields have already been created. And after you've created your fields, the next step is to navigate to the new location where you would like this field to appear. To make our first and last name fields appear side by side, we will embed these fields into the field label of a new descriptive field. So I'm gonna create my new field make it a descriptive field, and I'm going to name it Embed. And I'm going to use the rich text editor to create a table in which I want these new fields to appear. So for those who are familiar with piping, the field embedding feature works similarly. To embed the name fields into this field label, I'm going to place the variable name of the field inside curly brackets and place it in the desired location. So the first name field's variable name is F name. And then the next cell, I'm gonna add the last name field's variable name inside curly brackets. Okay, so you can see that they appear here in this new descriptive field. So now when we are viewing the form, you'll notice that the fields will be hidden from their old position on the form and they will be relocated to its new position. So you will notice that only the actual field element, meaning the text box itself or the radio buttons will be relocated and the field label if, and field note will not relocate, nor will they appear on the form. So it's important to make sure that you add text to properly label each field. So I will navigate back to the online designer and I'm going to add labels to these fields. So now you can see the first name and the last name fields are properly labeled. You can further modify the way your fields appear by using the rich text editor to adjust the font or the table to your liking. For a cleaner look, for example, you can remove the grid lines that are surrounding the table by clicking on table properties and changing the border width to zero. So this demonstrates how to embed a field into a field label. As we mentioned before, you can also embed fields into a field note of another field. For example, say I wanted the user to be able to specify what temperature unit is being recorded right underneath the temperature field. In the online designer, I can navigate to this temperature field. And in the field note, I can place that temperature unit field within curly brackets with a label. And you will see that the unit fields appear in the field note of the temperature field. You can also embed fields into the multiple choice label of another field. For example, if I want this specify other ice cream flavor field to appear right next to the other choice. In the online designer, I can navigate to this ice cream flavor field, navigate to the multiple choice option label for other, and I can place the variable name of the specify field within curly brackets next to this option label. 
and you will see that the specify field appears right next to the option label for other in this field. This feature is compatible with branching logic as well so that you can hide and display fields based on certain conditions. So if I want this specify box only to appear if other is selected, all I need to do is navigate to that field in the online designer and add branching logic so that the field only appears if other is selected. And you can do the same in the section header. So if I want the date field to appear in the section header for day one, for example, in the field label for this section header in the online designer, I can add the date field here. And the date field will appear in the header. Here are a few things to consider. So as we said, you can embed a field in a field label, a field note, a multiple choice label or in a section header. Wherever you decide to embed the field, its new location must be in the same instrument as its original location. If you are creating a survey that has multiple pages, the field must also be embedded on the same page as the original location. And as we demonstrated before, when a field is embedded in a new location, the field label and field note do not appear on the form. With this in mind, it will be important to make sure that you add additional text to ensure that each embedded field is clearly and properly labeled. Fields can only be embedded once and cannot be embedded in two places at the same time. And fields cannot be embedded into drop-down labels, survey introduction or completion text, or in any outgoing email alerts or invitations. For more information about field embedding, you can navigate to the project setup page of any REDCap project and click on the button labeled Field Embedding. And this button will also appear in the online designer when creating or modifying a field. And as always, for specific issues, be sure to contact the Children's National REDCap support team using the blue button found in the left-hand toolbar of every REDCap project or at the top of the REDCap homepage. You can submit a ticket describing your specific issue and a REDCap administrator will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.